Let's get you in the loop on the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO G2 just announced from Blackmagic Design. And stay tuned to the end of this video as we rapid fire through a bunch more updates from Blackmagic. They made those during their pre NAB 2025 announcement video. So the Extreme ISO G2 is a new take on the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. It's got a familiar desktop mounted design with all the buttons on the top and the IO on the back. First noticeable thing here is the reduction in buttons compared to the previous versions. The bottom preview program rows have been updated to the more broadcast classic buttons with removable caps so you can change the labels. Now these buttons can be mapped in the software too. So you'll notice here there are 10 buttons there. However, this switcher, just like the previous versions, has eight inputs. So from here, you can add your own super source buttons or media player buttons if you need to right next to those eight inputs. This model doesn't seem to have the tiny little super source and media player buttons that were in the previous version. Above the preview program are audio controls and you can do a full EQ dynamics all right here from the ATEM. You can even route a full screen audio panel to a monitor and make those audio tweaks as you go. Next above all that are six macro buttons and some controls for replay. On the right are your classic transition and upstream and downstream controls as well. You can control two of the three HDMI outputs right here from the front. Holding down one of the video outsource buttons allows you to use the program preview buttons to switch the outputs. So you press and hold the video out button and then you select an input or use the cut button to send program. This is a nice improvement because previously you could only control one output, but now you can control two right from the device. You'll also see the fade to black button has some nice left and right guards, which will make it slightly less possible to accidentally press it. And a lovely addition for all of those transition lovers out there is this new low profile transition fader. All right, round the back, things look quite different than they did in the previous model. There's still eight HDMI inputs and they're all spread across the back, but now you'll see these three HDMI outputs have been shifted out of the way a little. This has made room for a larger headphone connection, two full-size combi audio inputs, and a MADI in connection as well. There's still two USB ports as before, but now there's a third Thunderbolt connection, and this is for connections to and from the ATEM. With this single Thunderbolt cable, you can send two video inputs into the ATEM, like key fill for graphics, but you can also send video back out of the ATEM into your computer. Lastly, we have power and the CF Express card for recording your ISO and program feeds. There's also two ethernet connections. One of them is 1G and the other is 10G. There's so many things packed in. This new Extreme ISO G2 model should be available in June and expected to cost 1995 US dollars. The previous model was priced at 1295, so it is a bit of a step up. But to be fair, they have managed to rework a lot of the limitations and also pack in even more features. So I think it's pretty fair for what you're getting. No word yet on an SDI version of this G2 model, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see that come out at some point. It would make perfect sense. I have no idea though. More to come in this refresh switcher, so stay tuned for that. Okay, here's quick fire time for a bunch of other products announced and teased. New rack mountable Video Hub Mini 4x2, 6x2, and 8x4 models. These are cute little mini routers, perfect for fly packs and small setups. Loads to say about them in another video. There's a new ATEM Constellation 4ME 4K Plus, an even bigger switcher, 80 inputs, 48 outputs. This thing is huge. New rack mountable up, down, cross, and SDI to HDMI converters. These all have 2110 and SDI HDMI connections. It's a nice mix between classic use cases and also network-based future proofing. HyperDeck Shuttle 4K Pro. It's a nice blend between the HyperDeck Shuttle HD and a video assist, basically. It's a desktop product with a screen. Really nice to have. There's a new ATEM micro panel, a USB or Bluetooth camera shader, which is built to work nicely with ATEM minis and the Blackmagic cameras. This is like the ATEM Micro panel released last year, and it connects to your computer specifically and then talks to the other devices through the ATEM software control. So not over the network like the bigger panels, but will still work nicely in smaller setups, I think. And finally, there's been some nice updates for multiple ME switchers, allowing for simultaneous multiple MEs and outputs all cutting at the same time. All right, I can't possibly cover all the details that were packed into a over two hour long video. You're gonna have to check it out yourself. But I am headed to NAB Las Vegas this coming weekend so I can find more information and report back. Oh, and if you see me roaming around the show floor, be sure to say hello. Stop by, grab a sticker or a cable strap and consider yourself somewhat in the loop on these new products from Blackmagic Design for NAB 2025.